So today I'm going to show you how to tie my extended body mayfly uh, pattern, this uh, general pattern. This one happens to be a blue winged olive done version. Uh, it's actually quite easy to tie um, and it has, an, um, it has no hackle and it has an extended body. And um, as most others, I use the needle technique to, uh, to prepare the um, extended body. And I use foam, so this is one millimeter thick uh, uh, closed cell foam. It has this kind of a triangular shape which uh, becomes thicker towards the base to make it uh, more durable where you tie it in into the fly. And I'll start with uh, maybe six or seven wraps at the tip just to secure the, the thread and for the tail I'll be using uh, pheasant tail fibers if you can find grey ones that would be great I only have the natural color which uh, are brown uh, which will do as well so you first you just tie in this this foam with just two wraps at the narrow end and then you can just tie in the the tail fibers and um, because it's done these tail fibers don't have to be that long and then I'll use uh, this uh, super fine um, um, dubbing which is made uh, particular for for dry fly dry flies and I'll prepare a very thin dubbing noodle for the body you can taper it so it becomes a bit thicker towards uh, the far end and I'll just stop wrapping this around the foam like that just secure it with a quick finish and then you can just pull it off very easily and there's your extended body what you want to do as well is to just secure it with a little bit of uh, super glue at the tip um, maybe trim a little bit of that foam bit like that okay and that's your extended body my hook today will be a TMCO uh, 212 TR so I don't like barbs so I'm just gonna pinch the barb down um, and you'll start by the eye and work yourself backwards until about the middle or the tip of the hook and you can just trim this off so you get only about four to five or three to four millimeters of the foam and then you'll just tie it in straight like that And that's actually quite durable. Uh, you can catch quite a lot, quite a few fish with this one before it breaks. Um, and then uh, you need four medium-sized CDC fibers, natural color. Just align them roughly by their tips, 
and you'll want a the, the length of the wing, which I'm, I'm going to be tying forwards to begin with, uh, about the same size as the extended body. It's going to be trimmed anyway afterwards, so it doesn't matter if it's a, bit, a little bit too too uh, long. And then you firmly wrap it, maybe four or five times, and then you pull it both sides of the fiber upwards, and you can reinforce it. Now, if you want, uh, obviously, you can you can finish this fly off with a parachute tackle, but uh, because because there's so much CDC and foam already in the fly, you don't usually need the hackle to to keep it floating, and it makes for a more natural looking fly or insect mayfly in this case if you don't use hackle. So instead I'm going to be using seal spur, uh, the same color as the body and because this has quite long and rigid fibers those will um, also imitate the legs at the same time. So I'm, I'm just going to add these fibers loosely. Something like that. And then twist and you will get your dubbing noodle and then you can bring thread forwards and then you just follow with the this dubbing noodle I usually have one wrap in between these ones as well and then I usually go forward and then backwards again and when I come backwards I try to wrap them quite firmly along the base of this first wing just to try it try to manipulate it to stay uh, at an angle backwards And just tie it off. And before I finish off, I'm just going to color the thread brown to get a head. Whip finish. And what you could do now is just trim the wing and kind of have it as it is, that will float very well uh, but I want, what I like to do instead, I'll add one small drop of super glue the base of the wing and I'll just pinch it and stroke it upwards so, so it comes flat and more kind of wing like and then it's a matter of just one cut with the scissors. To get the rough shape of the wing. And if you want you can do some extra trimming, but usually one cut is enough. Then if you want you can just cut some of the fibers beneath. So you get most of the fibers towards the sides to imita imitate the the legs. And if you want you can also pull out some of these fibers. to enhance the impression of legs, something like that. And the only thing you now really need to do is to dip it into dry dip from Tiemco and that will float really really nicely. Most of the time it will actually float with the wing straight up as a, as a hatching done or just merge done because of the weight of the hook. Sometimes it doesn't, it lays instead flat on the on the surface and that will then imitate a cripple. Um, so a, a hatching um, insect that hasn't 
you know, has been caught on the surface film and that will work equally well all in all. No matter how, how this fly is fished, it will be very, very efficient and, and you can vary this in all sorts of colors and sizes. Um, and uh, that's pretty much the only mayfly pattern I use nowadays. It uh, looks complicated, but it's it's surprisingly easy to tie once you get used to it. So, thanks for watching.